Um, in this problem, we are dealing with a disc which have a radius of 1.5 meter, rotates with an initial angular velocity of 2 radian per second and has constant angular acceleration of 1 radian per second. So we have angular velocity, we have constant angular acceleration. So determine the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration of a point on the rim on the disc when t equals to 2 seconds. Okay, so for this problem, let's first uh, we, we do some drawing so to get some sense on what's going on. So it says that the radius is 0 0.15. Okay, this is r equals to 0 0.15 meter. And then uh, it rotates with initial. So this is initial angular velocity. So this is omega naught equals to uh, 2 radian per second. So 2 radian per second. And what else? Uh, we have angular acceleration, which is alpha. This is constant equals to 1 radian. Okay, 1 radian per second per second. So, um, okay, it says that uh, the time, okay, time of operation equals to 2 seconds. So we need to find the velocity and acceleration. So find V and A. Alright, so find V and A. So since we have all those clues, so we are going to write for the final velocity, uh, final angular velocity. So this is omega equals to omega naught plus alpha constant times t. So in this particular problem, uh, we, we have the time, yes. We have the constant angular uh, acceleration, yes. And then we have the initial angular velocity. So we just plug in all those values. So we're going to get this is going to be 2 plus this is going to be 1. And this is going to be 2 seconds. So at the end of the day, we are going to get 4 radian per second. So this is uh, the angular uh, velocity after two seconds so we move on so it says that find the velocity so velocity is basically uh, the radius of the circles times the angular velocity so here we have four radian per seconds so we have 0 0.15 0 0.15 times 4 so finally we are going to get 0 0.6 meter per second okay so this is okay next um, we need to find the acceleration so this acceleration we have uh, two types of acceleration uh, which is the angular sorry which is the tangential and also the normal acceleration so we have equations for tangential acceleration so at okay at remember equals to r times angular acceleration so we have 0 0.15 okay angular acceleration equals to 1 so basically we have 0 0.15 um, meter per second per second okay so next um, for the normal acceleration a n so a n equals to omega squared times r so here we have uh, 4 to the power of 2 uh, times 0 0.15 then finally we are going to get uh, 2.4 meter per second per second okay so we have these two so finally we are going to get um, our final acceleration so this is uh, tangential and this is normal so we have our final acceleration so a equals to um, a n squared plus a t squared okay so here what you're going to get is uh, 2.4 plus 0 0.15 squared for both then when you finish this what you're going to get is basically 2.405 meter per second per second all right so this is the answer.